Hey there, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is going to be lesson 4.2. Please turn in your Go Math book to lesson 4.2. And we're going to be learning about multiplying decimals and whole numbers. Our essential question is how can you use a model to multiply a whole number and a decimal? Let's go ahead and begin. Now this first example is done for you. I'm just going to walk you through it. Let's go ahead and look at the question. It says four times seven hundredths. <laughs> Remember, multiplication means groups of. So we have four groups of seven hundredths. So if you had four groups of seven hundredths, your total would be twenty-eight hundredths. Look at this model and see why. Do you see how this first dark section is shaded in a little dark? And then the second one has seven hundredths shaded in lighter. That's one group, two groups of seven hundredths, Another darker one of seven hundredths would be three groups, and a fourth group would, of seven hundredths would make a total of twenty-eight hundredths because we have ten hundredths, which is one tenth, another ten hundredths, which is two tenths. See right there, two tenths, and then we have eight more hundredths. So if you count it up, you have ten, twenty-eight hundredths. And remember, this one whole means a whole and only 28 hundredths is shaded in out of one whole. In your Go Math book, you have a blank model that you can shade in. Now you can use your pencil, or if you have color crayons or colored pencils, take advantage and use those so you can show different groups. But if you don't have color crayons or colored pencils, you can go ahead and just do a dark shade, a light shade, a dark shade, a light shade. Now look right here, we have three groups of 27 hundredths. That means I have to shade in 27 hundredths three times. Well, you go ahead and do that in your book, and we'll check our answers together. Press pause, and I want you to shade in three groups of 27 hundredths. And let's see if we match. Okay, so you should have taken three different colors or just shaded differently. Three groups of 27 hundredths. So look right here. I have one group of 27 hundredths, 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 27 hundredths. And then I made a second group of 27 hundredths. Now I had to start right down here, and I did 3 hundredths plus 20 hundredths is 23 hundredths, and then 4 more hundredths makes 27 hundredths. That's my second group. Now let's go to my third group. I had 6 hundredths left right here, so I shaded that in. And then I had a group of 20 hundredths right here, just two groups of 10 hundredths plus one more hundredths because twenty hundredths plus six hundredths plus one hundredths is twenty seven hundredths. So when you add all three groups of twenty seven hundredths together, let's see what you should have had. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, one hundredths. So all together you should have had eighty one hundredths as your answer. And that is written like this. And of course, if I wanted to check it with addition, because remember, multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition, you can check it by adding 27 hundredths three times. Three groups of seven hundredths would be 21 hundredths. And then let's count up our tenths. Two, four, six, eight tenths. And keep my whole number the same. All right, so let's go on to the next question. For number three, I want you to shade in two groups of 45 hundredths. Go ahead and pause the video now. Remember, use two different colors if you can. All right, so if you shaded in two groups of 45 hundredths, your model should look similar to mine, maybe different colors. But as you can see, I'm going to have one group of 45 hundredths shaded in. That's four groups of tenths and one group of five hundredths. And I'm going to do that twice. So I have four groups of tenths and five one hundredths. So when you multiply those together, you'd have two groups of forty-five hundredths. But if you use the model, you can see that you have nine tenths shaded in, also known as ninety hundredths. I'm going to go ahead and write it as a decimal. Remember, ninety hundredths is the same value as nine tenths. Looking at the model, you can see why. And of course, if I want to check it with addition, because remember, Multiplication is just repeated addition. I have two groups of 45 hundredths, and I can add it like this. I have 5 hundredths plus 5 hundredths is 10 hundredths. Remember, we're going to have to regroup 10 hundredths to have zero in my hundredths place and one group of tenths. And now let's go ahead and add our tenths place. 
4 tenths plus 4 tenths plus 1 tenth is 9 tenths. So as you can see, 90 hundredths is the same answer as our model answer. Let's go ahead and move on to number 4. Alright, let's take a look at number four. As you can see, we don't have the model showing for you that shows one whole broken into a hundred parts. Therefore, when you see this right here, two groups of eight tenths, honestly, you don't need to have that model for you to shade in because we know that we can draw little pictures to represent one whole, one tenth, one hundredths. So let's go ahead and use that strategy for quick drawing. So if I have two groups of eight tenths, remember to make a tenth, you have one straight line, also called a long. So if we have eight of those, go ahead and quickly sketch with me eight of those tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's one group of eight tenths. Remember, multiplying means groups of, so I'm going to need two groups of eight tenths. If this is one group, I need to make one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this shows two groups of eight tenths. But let's go ahead and stop and talk about regrouping. We have learned back in fourth grade that ten tenths equals one whole. So I'm going to take a different color and I'm going to group ten tenths. Now I know this is eight tenths up top and I'm just going to grab two more down here. So this now equals one whole. So now you can see we have one whole and one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. So two groups of eight tenths equals one whole and six tenths. I'm going to show you how you can prove that with addition. If I have two groups of eight tenths, we can just add eight tenths twice to show why. 8 tenths plus 8 tenths is 16 tenths. Just like we did in our model, we need to regroup and have one whole and 6 tenths left over. And as you can see, we have one whole there. And this is why this works with a model. Okay, everyone, now we're going to move down to question 7. Let's go ahead and skip over 5 and 6 and move on to number 7. Now we're going to draw a model to show how we can have four groups of 23 hundredths. Now remember, to make our tenths pieces, we will need to just make a strip or a long, like a straight line. To make our hundredths pieces, just make a little clear dot to show one hundredth. So if I have four groups of 23 hundredths, let's go ahead and model. This is gonna be one group of 23 hundredths because I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Because remember, one strip equals 10 hundredths. That's going to be one group. As you can see, I have to make four groups of 23 hundredths. I'm going to pick a different color to show another group of 23 hundredths. And I'm going to pick another color to show a group of 23 hundredths. Now, of course, you don't have to use different colors. I'm just doing this to show you how you can have different colors to see as well, to see the different groups. But if you just have your pencil at home, that's fine too. And now we can go ahead and look and see, can I regroup any of my hundredths into making a tenth? Let's count them up. One, two, three hundredths, four hundredths, five hundredths, six hundredths, seven hundredths, eight hundredths, nine hundredths, and one more would be ten hundredths. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to go ahead and group. 10 of those to know that they're all going to equal one group of tenths. So this way we've kind of already used these up. We just regrouped and made a tenth. Now we can count up our tenths. Go ahead and count with me. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. So we should have a nine in our tenth place. And now let's count up our hundredths that are left over. We have one hundredth, two hundredths. So we should have two in our hundredths. And if you count it all up, it should be ninety-two hundredths. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92 hundredths. And you can prove it with addition. Just take a look here. You can see by adding my twenty-three hundredths four times, I'm going to have four groups of three hundredths would be 12 
hundredths, and that's what I had. Did you see how I had to regroup into one-tenth? That's what we just did right here. And we had two left over. There it is right there. And now let's go ahead and add up all of our tenths. Two, four, six, eight, plus one more is nine, just like our model shows us. So we did a great job with that model. So let's go on down to the bottom of our page to question eight. Question eight says, in physical education class, Sonia walks a distance of 12 hundredths of a mile in one minute. At that rate, how far can she walk in nine minutes? So we need nine groups of 12 hundredths to figure out how far she can walk. Go ahead and pause the video and I want you to show a model showing nine groups of 12 hundredths and add them up together. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, I just did a quick sketch drawing of nine groups of 12 hundredths. You can see here one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups of 12 hundredths. Now I want to go ahead and regroup my hundredths knowing that 10 of my hundredths can equal one tenth. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and just show regrouping. Two hundredths, four hundredths, six, eight, ten hundredths is going to transfer into one tenth. Let me go ahead and cross those out. And let me see if I can make another group. Two, four, six, eight hundredths. No, there's not enough. So let's go ahead now and count up our long pieces, our groups of tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tenths. All right, now let's talk about that. If I have ten tenths, couldn't I trade all those in for one whole? I sure can because ten tenths equals one whole. Therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and make a mat. That shows one whole. And I'm going to go ahead and just take all these away because we've already reused them up. Ten of them equals one whole. And then I'm going to have eight hundredths left over. So the answer should be one whole and eight hundredths. Please don't write eight tenths. So it would be eight hundredths. All right, let's go on to question nine. Okay, question number nine says, a certain tree can grow 45 hundredths meters in one year. At that rate, how much can the tree grow in three years? Go ahead and pause your video and I want you to show your model showing 45 hundredths three times. Okay, I went ahead and drew a model that showed three groups of 45 hundredths, but now we need to show some regrouping to get to our correct answer. So let's go ahead and start with our hundredths. I can see that I have five hundredths plus another five hundredths equals ten hundredths. And remember, ten hundredths is the same value as one tenth. So I'm going to go ahead and take my black color here and I'm just going to circle ten hundredths like that and I'm going to trade those in for one tenth. And I'm going to go ahead and just scribble those out because I've already used them up. Now as I can see I have five hundredths left over. I don't have enough to make another group of tenth so one tenth so I can go ahead and just stop right there with my hundredths. Now let's check out our tenths and see if we can create a hole with them. If I look at my model I have one tenth up here, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five, six, seven, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. I can actually group all those to make a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and take my whole right there, four, four, and two to show ten tenths. And I can trade that in for one whole. Now, I'm going to go ahead and scribble that out because I've used them up and I've regrouped them. So now let's see what we have left. I have one whole, one tenth, don't forget the one we regrouped, two tenths, three tenths. So we have one whole and three tenths, but don't forget our hundredths. We have one, two, three, four, five hundredths left. So we have one whole and 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 hundredths. And to prove it with addition, I can show that I have 5, 10, 15 hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and regroup and make one group of tenth, which is what we did right here. And I have one group of 5 hundredths left over. Now let's count up our tenths. 4, 8, 12, plus one more is 13 tenths. 
we made a group of a whole and had three tenths left over. We did that right here. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths left over after we made our one group of a whole. And now I can just add up my whole number of one whole. Do you see how our addition answer matches our model answer? So here are your two questions for number one and two. I want you to look at it carefully and I want you to answer one and two and then do questions three through six at the bottom. And at the top of this Go Math page, please rate yourself either one as a novice you don't understand the models, two apprentice you think you understand but you need coaching, three a practitioner you really understand it but you're not ready to teach yet, or four expert you can teach this to someone else. Again, here are your two questions. Work on them carefully, do the rest of the page, and we'll check it in class tomorrow with many more practices of models so you can feel confident. Have a great night. Bye-bye.